Hey. Welcome to Gold's Fake News. Here are your headlines. It's breeding season in the bird world, so naturally, Deli Ali has been working on his mating calls. Jose Mourinho finds outlet for his two favourite things in life, biscuits and evading press conference questions. Jose, can you just give us uh, an update on your team and injury news, how Fellaini is and if Paul, Paul is in, Paul Popper is in condition to play? I'm sorry. Despite being injured for the victory over Ajax, Zlatan Ibrahimovic was hell-bent on making a dramatic entrance. But Zlatan didn't account for the procedural chaos he would cause trying to go through this gate. You feeling confident, Zlatan? Zlatan's confidence speaks for itself. You gonna win? Zlatan always wins. Zlatan reserves the right to ignore questions. Here, look at Zlatan's gigantic shoe. I wonder how comfortable Zlatan's leg can actually be on that bonnet. Sorry, you cannot stand next to it because it won't open. Thank you, guys. What kind of door or gate won't open if you stand next to it? Is it a shy gate? Mm. Zlatan has waited long enough. <laughs> there is no hanging about once that gate is open. They are gone. Unfortunately, Zlatan missed the entire first half because he got stuck in front of the next barrier. <laughs> Gigi Buffon remembers just in time not to dry hump Juve fans. Fake News would like to point out this is in fact not the real Buffon, it is a lookalike. And so as to allay any lingering confusion, here is the real Buffon next to his fluffy doppelganger. So, Real Madrid won the Champions League. And they won La Liga. I'd like to just pause here for a moment just to appreciate the stress that can come with such success. El día más feliz de mi vida. He's going to throw up. I just want to watch that moment again. The wretch of success. And then Marcelo comes over like the worst IT technician in the world. Uh, yeah, sorry, we seem to have fucked the monitor. Oh, now he's got to pick himself up. Yep, get rid of all that shampoo from the chair. It's a good thing he doesn't have hair, so I would imagine it dries pretty quickly. That's 1-0 to the bald guy! I love how he's completely soaked, but he still can't sit on a wet chair. What's worse, a wet bum or a wet shoulder? I think we all know. What is Cristiano Ronaldo famous for? Yes, 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 being awesome, but also being very, very humble. The most important it's that I did again Amazing. Cristiano Ronaldo gets a lot of hate. You can't deny it. It's a fact. To speak about myself, individual, I don't need to speak because the numbers, they don't like. I think it's because when people imagine what a day in the life of Cristiano is like, it play out like this. Everything.